Well, as summer nears, the U.S. Department of Labor is stepping up its efforts to identify child labor violations in Utah. Fox 13 News reporter Eliana Sheriff found out which rules are frequently being broken. We've definitely seen an uptick in the number of child labor violations. The wage and hour division district director says they're finding a lot of violations of child labor laws in recent investigations. All across the board. We're seeing a retail, restaurant, food service, uh, even construction. Meister Guys LLC, who operates this Five Guys here in Ogden behind me, had several violations involving minors. They were ultimately fined over $17,000 in civil money penalties. There are hour restrictions for 14 and 15 year olds, and then uh, 16 and 17 year olds don't have hours restrictions, but they still have what are called hazardous occupations. There are certain jobs minors aren't allowed to perform, like operating a trash compactor. In these recent investigations, Five Guys in Ogden was cited for violating several rules, including hours restrictions and operating a trash compactor in a manual air fryer. Kent's Market, operated by PCO KTA LLC in Plain City, was fined over $6,000, accused of violating hazardous occupation and hours rules, and Mammoth Holdings LLC doing business as Wiggy Wash was cited for hours regulations, getting fined over five grand. Hunt says they do investigations for two reasons. Either they've received a complaint from the public or their agency initiates investigations. We use the data that we've gathered over the years from our investigations, and then we can target specific industries if we see that there is a trend going on to where then we can take a preventative approach to it. He says some employers they confront don't know they were in violation. A lot of differences between state and federal laws, uh, specifically with child labor. So sometimes people will think, oh, well, I'm following the state guidelines, but the federal guidelines may be a little bit more strict. Whichever one is more strict is the one the employer should follow. We don't want employers to feel like we're just out to get them. We want them to be aware of what the rules are. In Ogden, Eliana Sheriff, Fox 13 News, Utah. Well, businesses that are issued a civil financial penalty can either pay the fine or try to appeal it. Meister Guys LLC has paid their $17,000 fine.